Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the World of Juice Hoops channel, and a welcome officially to the first series of NBA 2K23 on the channel. That is right. I've had some videos, one-off videos, and uh, the, I guess you could count the My Career series as a series, uh, but this is the first, like, real franchise series. I guess I should have said, like, real, real dynasty series. It's not, it's not like following a my career or it's not anything like that. It's not the Jordan thing. So it is the first legit my NBA series of the year on the channel. Now you already know the team that I've chosen and uh, all that stuff by the title and the thumbnail. But just in case you haven't, uh, you just didn't pay attention. We are going to be using the Los Angeles Clippers for this series. And that is because... The Los Angeles Clippers are bad. And I don't mean bad as in like they don't have anybody good on the roster. Obviously, they have Kawhi and Paul George, which are two all-timers. But they just they they get hurt a lot. Kawhi is very inconsistent when it comes to playtime. Same kind of thing with Paul George, although not as severe. And they just they never get a good bounce. Even when they had Lob City and they had Chris Paul and Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. I mean, they had some good teams back then. They just could never get to the West, Western Conference Finals. And if they ever did get there, they would lose. And they just, they don't have any championships as the Los Angeles Clippers. They might have had one as the San Diego Clippers. I don't remember. That's back in the 70s. So they, as far as I know, they don't have any championships. And I want to change that. I want to give the Clippers hope. I want to give Los Angeles fans hope other than the Lakers, even though in real life, the, none, none of the Los Angeles teams really have any hope. I mean, there are a lot is a lot of uh, hope and hype for the Clippers this season, not so much for the Lakers. But I want to I want to give the, the Clippers a lot of a lot of championships. That's what we're going for in this series. So, oh, and I think I forgot to mention this is a Legends fantasy draft series. Yeah. A Legends Fantasy Draft Series. So, if you're not familiar, on my main channel, the World of Juice channel, which is linked down below in the description, as it always is, for the past two years, NBA 2K21 and 22, maybe on 2K20 also, I don't remember, but definitely on 2K21 and 22, I had have done a NBA 2K Legends Fantasy Draft Series, where I take all the Legend teams and Legend players and the all the current NBA players, and we throw them into a fantasy draft, and we draft our team, and then we go from there, and then, and then it's just a normal rebuild. But the one big thing that's different from my series and, uh, and everybody else on YouTube, this series doesn't play with salary cap. Because when you throw in legends, legends always ha have big contracts. Legends always get paid a lot. They're in the 30 millions, 40 millions, 50 millions. So it's it's impossible to build a team that can win a championship when you're restricted to as little money as you are with all these legend contracts. So the Legends Fantasy Draft Series has no salary cap, no hard cap, nothing like that. We can go way over the budget, and I intend to, to bring in as many good legends as possible to win a championship every single season. So if you are not familiar with it, Go back and watch my series from 2K21, the Charlotte Hornets, or the 2K20, actually the 2K22 one's the Charlotte Hornets, and then the 2K21 is the New Orleans Pelicans. So I usually go, I usually like swap back and forth between Western Conference, Eastern Conference. Last year happened to be the Hornets, which are in the Eastern Conference. So now we're going to the Western Conference with the Los Angeles Clippers. I hope you guys are excited for this series. If you, like I said, if you want to go back and watch um, either one of those series, the link is down below in the channel, and then you can just go find the playlist on my main channel. I guess I could link the, nah, that's, that's a lot of work. <clears throat> I'll probably just, uh, I'll probably just have the, I'll definitely have the link down below in my main channel. So just go click on that, go to the main channel, find the, the Hornets playlist and go watch the first episode. You'll know, uh, the deal. It's not that complicated. So let's start this series up with the Los Angeles Clippers. Get things started, advance all. We have the third pick in the draft. Kareem goes one, LeBron goes two. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And you can tell this is the first time I've done this because uh, I <laughs> it's given me all the prompts and stuff. So we have the pick of the litter. This is a, a serpentine draft. 
So we are going to have uh, a very low pick next time around. But the third pick in the draft, LeBron, 26 years old. Kareem, 24 years old. I have um, no duplicates. There are no duplicates in this draft. So there's only one Michael Jordan. There's only one Larry Bird. Only one Magic. Only one Shaq. Only one of everybody. Only one LeBron. Only one Kobe. It looks like they've chosen uh, young Kobe. It's the, I chose the best version of everybody. So who do we take? I feel like the obvious choice... The obvious choice is to take Mike. I mean, we need a guy who is going to dominate the entire league. And Mike is that guy. Mike is certainly that guy. I mean, look at these points he was putting up in the 80s. He's an absolute demon. And this is this is the Michael Jordan from 90-91. Or 91-92, because his last season was 90-91. I think the obvious choice is to get Michael Jordan... It's going to be pretty tough to get two Hall of Fame, oh well, two top tier Hall of Famers. And since Michael Jordan's the last 99, I think we got to do it. I think we've got to do it. See, look at like look at some of these contracts. Like Shaq's getting Shaq is getting one year 40 million already. Jordan's getting one year 39 million. So I mean, the contracts are pretty crazy. But I think the obvious choice would be to take Michael Jordan. I don't know how you could pass up on Michael Jordan. So I am going to take big old Mike with the third pick in the draft, Tim Duncan goes four, then Oscar, Hakeem, Wilt Chamberlain, Magic to the Suns. Where is Shaq going? Kobe goes to the Pelicans. Shaq goes to the Warriors. Wade on the Trailblazers. There goes Kevin Durant. There goes Steph Curry. Giannis got drafted. Now we get a little bit further down. This is the bad part of having such a high pick is because everybody everybody goes. Okay, so this is... Uh, this is Russell Westbrook, not from the Oklahoma City Thunder, which I thought it would be. Uh, that's okay. Not, not a big deal. So we have our shooting guard. We have our guy. We have our guy in Michael Jordan. Now, we need to get that secondary score because we don't really need, like, a great point guard because Mike is that ball handler. Like, if we have two ball handl handlers on the team, like, if we have two ball-dominant guards like Westbrook and Jordan... That's not going to go very well. They're not going to be happy. They're not going to get their points. Or they're not going to get their minutes. Well, they'll get the minutes, but they're not going to get their opportunities. So we need to get a either a really dominant small four that could develop, like Jason Tatum. Wouldn't be a bad option. Or we could go with a big man to pair alongside him. And, and we might have to go pretty quick into the big man stuff because... Uh, because doesn't look like there's a lot of great big men left on the board. I mean, there's still some pretty good ones. Obviously, you got like Boogie Cousins. You got Yao Ming. I just showed you Dwight Howard there. Artis Gilmore is a solid one. Anthony Davis. So there's still some really good ones. But if And plus, we have a, a pick pretty close after this. So we got to think about, do we take a Jason Tatum to pair alongside Michael Jordan? Think of that combination right there. Think of that combination. That might actually be what I do. Although Paul Pierce is also a pretty solid one. But I think I'm going to take Jason Tatum with this pick. Then we'll get another pick here. Ray Allen goes, I think, can we wait on Dwight Howard? That's a big question. Because I kind of want Dwight to be my big man down low. I think that would be pretty good. I mean, there are some other options here for a big man down low. If we can't end up getting Dwight, maybe there's somebody else that we need to get. Getting like Dennis Rodman to be a rebounder would be pretty cool. That really would be kind of cool. And I'll go through and I'll lower all the ages of all these guys so they don't retire. Because uh, like having 36-year-old Dennis Rodman isn't going to be fun <laughs> if he retires. So let's see. We have Jordan and we have Tatum. Both solid defenders. Obviously, Jordan much better defender than, than Tatum. What do we need? What do we need? If we get Dwight, then that's a lot of that's a lot of defense. But then point guards, we have still have Russ. We have Kyrie. Young Kyrie. There's Dame Dalla. Hmm. This is this is this is tough. I will say that. This is very, very tough. Tough to choose who I think is gonna be off the board. Who's who do I think is gonna still be here next time we come up? Although I do like my centers to to stretch the floor, and getting a guy like Dwight Howard doesn't really do that. Uh, but I could play more back to the basket i i do like that style too that actually fits probably more of my style than than stretching the floor with the center 
is playing more back to the basket, which is what Dwight does, which is what Alonzo Mourning does. And Alonzo's also got a, a mid-range shot, so that could be pretty good. Getting a guy like Alonzo Mourning down there. I think I'm going to do that. Let's take Alonzo Mourning with this pick in the third round. Russell Westbrook goes. I would assume we see Dwight. He goes to the Grizzlies. Dame Lillard goes. All right, some of the big men are going off the board, which is good. That's why we, we took... Uh, Alonzo Morning. So we have currently on our team. Can I see my team? I don't think I can see my team. But we have Michael Jordan. We have Jason Tatum. And we have uh, we have Alonzo Morning. So we need a power forward and a point guard to finish out the starting rotation. Elton Brand could be good. Draymond for defense. Um, let's see. Let's see. Carlos Boozer would be interesting. There's Zion still. So, I mean, there's still some really, really good players down here. We don't have to focus on just the top half. I think I could maybe snag Zion with the... Actually, Zion's pretty low on the board. Zion would not be a bad option there. What about point guards? Point guards, you got Baron Davis, which could be really cool. Trey Young, Rajon Rondo. John Wall could be interesting. Hmm, this is tough. This is really tough to figure out who I, who I want to fit this team. Who do I want to be my... My leader, LaMelo, ooh, or Darren Williams. Oh, this is just, this is tough to figure out who I want to be. Darius Garland could be cool. LaMelo obviously would be really cool. I think I can get LaMelo. Yeah, LaMelo is pretty far down there. I think I can get LaMelo a little bit later. Wow, I don't know what to do here. There's Yao Ming. Boogie Cousins is probably going to go. I could play Boogie at power forward that could be interesting but i want zion too Ooh, this is tough this is real tough uh brad daughtry's also decent ben wall is obviously really good rudy gobert vlade divac i mean you got bam i think i'm gonna take boogie i think that's the best option we take boogie we have another pick pretty close after we can get a point guard here and i kind of like john wall i kind of like the having the idea of john wall I mean, obviously, like, Rajon Rondo would be cool for the passing, the playmaking stuff. But having John Wall, I think, is is really, really fun. So let's get John Wall on the team. Oh, Zion went number one in the fourth round, or the fifth round. So very interesting there. I thought we'd have a little bit more time on our hands with Zion. I guess if you got if you want somebody, you got to take them. You never know when they're going to go off the board. So we have a starting five now. Now we go for either a six-man or a... Just another, like, best available. And it looks like LaMelo's still here. Yeah, LaMelo's still here. What about some of the younger shooting guards? I don't really know if I want, like, a super young shooting guard. Zach Levine. Michael Red off the bench is the sixth man. I like that. Jimmy Jackson. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I really like the idea of Michael Red off the bench. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't think there's anybody else. Bam would be obviously pretty cool to be a backup big. But I like Michael Red off the bench. I really do like that. Okay, so Bam is still on the board. Bam is still on the board. I don't think he lasts until our next pick. So if I want Bam, I got to take him now. I think LaMelo and all those guys survive the round. But if I want Bam, I got to take him now. Do I want Bam is the question. Robert Williams is also here. I mean, there's still some awesome centers down here to get to back up. Like you got DeAndre Ayton and Robert Williams, Jared Allen's still down here. So there's still some solid options at the, uh, the, the center position if Bam does go off the board. It's just I, I really like Bam. So we haven't really taken a look at small forwards yet other than the top half. So you got like Anthony Edwards is here. Tony Kukoc, Andrew Wiggins. All right, now we're getting to spots where I don't really want to get that low. Point guard. I think I'm going to hold off on point guard until we get a little bit lower down here. So let's get a small forward or a power forward. It's, it's really either Bam. It's either going to be Bam or it's going to be a small forward. And I don't know if there's a small forward here that I want. I want like a, a lockdown shooting three shooting small forward and the best shooting small forward available is Peja Stojakovic then you got Sean Elliott Dennis Scott Bruce Bowen hmm 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 
You've also got like Chris Middleton who does everything well. Karan Butler. Richard Jefferson. I don't know where to go with this. I don't know where to go with this. I really don't. It's tough. It is tough out here in the streets. Danny Granger? I mean, that'd be cool for like throwback stuff. And he can also shoot the three pretty well. Not as good as like Stajakovic or Middleton. Gordon Hayward. I kind of like the idea of Danny Granger. I really do. I'm, I'm talking myself into it. Let's take Danny Granger. We'll see what happens with the the rest of the draft here as we get to our next pick. So far, I'm not seeing any. There goes Bam and LaMelo went. Okay, so maybe I waited a little bit too long on those guys. And we have to focus on some young guys. We can't forget about the, the actual like super young guys because they're going to have a really good trade value. So we cannot forget about those guys. We have Jalen Brown here as another shooting guard. I do like that. I really like that. We still need a point guard, and Mike Conley's here. I like Mike Conley. Shea is still available. Uh, looks like... Ooh, Deron Williams is still there. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take... I'm going to take Jalen Brown with this pick, and then I'm going to come back and take Darren Williams with the next pick. He's still here. Darren Williams with the next pick. Okay. So right now... We have a backup point guard. We have a, a couple backup shooting guards. We have... Do we have a backup small forward? I can't remember if we do or not. Ooh, Robert Williams is ready to get taken. Oh, I don't know if I can pass up on Robert Williams. Time Lord? The defense? I gotta take Robert Williams with that pick. I can't pass him up. He could get taken at any time. Let's see. Now I think is when we focus on guys like Scotty Barnes. Guys of that level of talent this is when we focus on these guys has Jalen Green already gone off the board I don't know if he has or not there's JJ Redick there's Jalen Green okay Jalen Green Josh Giddy, those guys are still available let's take let's take Scotty with this pick let's get some youth because we can use those guys trade value in trades to maybe get some legends if we don't if they don't already fit our team there goes Jeremy Lin, Lin Sanity, off the board. RJ Barrett is available. I think this is where we take Jalen Green. Okay, get some young guys on the team. How many draft picks we have left? We have this pick and then another pick. So we have two picks left. I think getting another point guard would be awesome. Is there a point guard with that's super young with good value? Lonzo, he's not young anymore, but he could be a good backup point guard for us. Coming off the bench. There's Cole Anthony. Spud Webb would be fun to have. Uh, okay, now we're getting into... I don't want to get like a 77 overall. White Chocolate. Brad Davis. Nick Van Exel could be cool. He kind of gets overlooked a little bit. Although you got Marcus Smart, which would be fun for the defensive aspect. But I feel like I'm building a Celtics squad here. I got Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Robert Williams. If I get Marcus Smart too, I feel like I'm building a Celtics squad. I'm going to take Nick Van Exel. I think that'd be pretty fun to have him on the team. So we have one pick left. Oh, I, I was thinking about taking uh, Jordan Poole, but he got taken already. One pick left, and do we just go for, like, young player to add value to the team? Who's a good young player that's still available? Hmm. I bet some of those rookies are still available. I wouldn't think that the rookies would get taken, like Paolo and, and stuff. There's uh, there's Darko. Oh, God, Darko. Uh, yeah, here's Jabari Smith. Here's Paolo. They're going to have pretty good value, I would guess. Here's Nikola Jovic. I'm going to take one of these young guys with our final pick. I'm probably going to take Jabari because he looks like he has better stats. So if we don't end up trading, uh, trading them, then uh, he could end up actually playing for, for us probably. But that's going to be the NBA draft, or the, the fantasy draft that we did. Let's take a look at our squad. So we are in the modern era, all-star teams, Nets rebrand, players added, or playing out in 2020. Yeah, we get it all. We're in the modern era, uh, and I don't think there's a draft class. Is there already a draft class available? Has somebody already made a draft class? Wow, these guys are on top of things. These guys are on top of things. I will give them that. 
Uh, but let's go take a look at our roster. So point guards, we got John Wall, Darren Williams, and Nick Van Exel. I'm fine with that. I like those point guards a lot for the first season. Uh, shooting guards, we got Michael Jordan, Michael Red, Jalen Brown, and Jalen Green. Now remember, Jalen Green is probably going to be trade bait. Small forwards, we got Jason Tatum and Danny Granger. Small, uh, power forwards, we got Scotty Barnes and Jabari Smith. I'm definitely going to trade one of these guys for a better, like a legend power forward. Then we got centers, Alonzo Mourning, DeMarcus Cousins, and Robert Williams. Now we could play DeMarcus at power forward, uh, but I, I kind of want to trade one of them. I want to, let's just see, let's just throw it out there. What are the, what's the value? I know how to trade players. Don't, don't show me this. Stop it. Stop it. Bad. <gasps> Excuse me. Bad, bad game. I, I know. Okay, let's go down the line with some of our young guys and see the value. Jalen Green, look at that. Four-star value is going to help us out a lot. Uh, what about Jabari? Jabari's got four-star. Scotty's got four-star. I mean, look at this. Look at the value that I, I took with those guys. So that, that's the goal. That was the goal right there. Jalen Brown's even got four-star. So if we package one of these two guys together, it's going to be amazing. We could... Who's the better player? Is Jabari the better player or is scotty the better player that's interesting we'll figure that out but if you want to take a look around the league at the rest of the the teams the sixers drafted walt frazier dominique richie Guerin, kevin love jack sigma ralph sampson kyle lowry boozer all right they got a decent team nothing insane the bucks have david robinson elgin baylor ja morant that's a good top three nothing really else amazing but that's a good top three that's probably a playoff team Oh, Scotty stays with the Bulls. Allen Iverson, Sidney Moncrief, Dave DeBusher, Yao Ming. Okay, Bulls team interesting. Then you got the Cavs, Larry Bird, Jokic. Uh, why did I say it like that? Jokic, Gary Payton, Sean Kemp. Oh, they couldn't get away from each other. Okay. Kemba and Bradley Beal. That's a really good Cavs team. That's going to be a dangerous team. Then the Celtics. <laughs> stay, rest in peace to Bill Russell. He stays with the Celtics. Steve Nash, Stoudemire, D-Book, uh, Paul Horizon not a great team but these two are really really solid then you go to us and then you got oh wow they got they snagged kd and luca oh the grizzlies are gonna be a problem and they got dwight look at that big three and jermaine o'neal and demar derozan wow their starting five is luca derozan durant jermaine o'neal and dwight howard that's a really good starting five the grizzlies are gonna be a problem the grizzlies are gonna be a problem the hawks have vince carter kevin McHale, george mike and Gilbert Arenas. Look at this man wearing the glasses. The glasses. Hawks aren't great. The Heat have Drexler, Havlicek, Tiny Archibald, Mel Daniels. Okay. A good team. Not an amazing team. The Hornets were able to get Giannis and Kawhi. And Damian Lillard. Okay. The defense is off the charts at the in the, the wing spots. Okay. And they snagged LaMelo, so he can't get out of Charlotte. Okay, the Hornets are, are an interesting team. I look forward to playing them. The Utah Jazz have CP3. Is he wearing three? He is. James Worthy, Anthony Davis, Draymond Green. Okay, okay. Jazz are, are, are interesting. The Kings got Kareem. They had the number one overall pick. Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, Zion also went to the Kings. Look how chunky he is. <laughs> they got Jimmy Jackson as well. Uh, the Knicks got Stockton, Harden, Billy Cunningham, Robert Parrish. Not a great squad. The Lakers have Hakeem, Isaiah Thomas, Chris Mullen. That's a solid team. Solid top three, at least. Uh, the, the Magic have Dirk and Westbrook. That's a that's a one-two punch right there. They also have Rondo, Lou Hudson, Bob McAdoo. Good team, good team. The Mavericks had the second pick. They took LeBron, Bill Walton, Dalton, uh, Dolph Shays, Baron Davis. All right, LeBron's probably going to carry this team along with Bill Walton, but they'll probably be a playoff team. The Nets get Tim Duncan and Joel Embiid and Pistol Pete. Another good top three. Chauncey, Sean Marion, Jamal Mashburn. Good team, the Nets are. Uh, Nuggets have Steph, Jerry Lucas, Willis Reed, Jimmy Butler. Okay, so, I mean, Jerry Lucas is good. Willis Reed is good, but this is really just Steph's team. Then you got the Pacers have Lame or Lamello, Carmelo, Bob Pettit, Dennis Johnson, Artis Gilmore. I feel like Carmelo is going to struggle a little bit, although Bob Pettit in simulation is pretty good. Kobe goes to the Pelicans with George Gerving, Kyrie, Wayne Embry, Tom Henderson, Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Wow. Pelicans got a squad. The Pistons have Kevin Garnett, Jason Kidd, Paul George. Okay, okay. And Rip Hamilton still in, in uh, Detroit. Moses and Carl, both the Malones, are in the Raptors with Alex English, Mark Price, Ben Wallace. Okay, they got defense and a little bit of scoring with Carl Malone. 
Uh, then you got the Rockets with Bob Cousy, Rick Barry, Bob Lanier, Clay Thompson. Solid team. Rick Barry is a legend when it comes to 2K simulation, so I think they'll be fine. The Spurs, Jerry West, Tracy, uh, Marquise Johnson, Bosch, Daughtry. It's a good team. These two guys are going to carry them. Phoenix Suns have Magic, Wes Unsell, Grant Hill, Dennis Rodman. When you got Magic, you're going to be pretty good, obviously. Dr. J's with the Thunder along with D. Rose, Prime D. Rose, Joe Dumars, Cat, Spencer Haywood. Okay, um, I think this team is going to be decent, but they're probably not better than some of the other teams around the league. The Wilt, the, the Wilt, the Minnesota Timberwolves have Wilt and Elvin Hayes and TP, Adrian Dantley, uh, Drazon Petrovic, who would have been a good player for us to have, Rudy Gobert, Charlie Scott. Okay, okay. Wilt's probably going to dominate that that team. Trailblazers got D-Wade, Patrick Ewing. Wow, what a one-two punch there. JoJo White, Dan Issel, Bob Love, uh, Bob Dandridge, Zach Levine's there too. Joe Keep Noah, Mike Bibby are down there. And then the Warriors, the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. One of the guys that I wanted. David Thompson, Penny Hardaway. So Penny and Shaq back together. Blake Griffin, Glenn Rice. This is a good Warriors team. Very good Warriors team. Also have uh, DeAndre Jordan down there. And then the Wizards. The Big O, Oscar Robertson, Dave Cowens, Mitch Richmond, Cliff Hagen, Elton Brand, Kiki Vanderway. Not a great team, but Oscar Robertson's a demon, so who knows. But we have the highest rated player in the league, which is Michael Jordan. Okay, there's some there's some pretty decent teams around here. I think that we don't really have the best big three. Our big three is Jason Tatum, Alonzo Mourning, and Michael Jordan. There definitely are some other teams, like this team right here, that has a better big three than us. The Grizzlies are going to be a real problem. That is for sure. The Grizzlies are going to be a real problem. But let me just uh, let me just go through some, some power forwards here. Let me just go through some power forwards and see if there's any team that would want one of our young guys for a power forward. Who knows? I want to kind of stick more towards the legends. Although... Maybe getting, like, Steph Curry wouldn't be all that bad. <laughs> and as you can see, a lot of guys are on one-year contracts. A lot of the legends are on one-year contracts. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting free agency after year number one. Kobe. Kobe and LeBron. Or Kobe and Jordan. Is that a possibility? Because we could play Tatum at Power Forward if we needed to. This is where we throw in one of our young guys like Jabari. He's only got two-and-a-half star value. That's uh, That's bad. That is bad. So Kobe's probably off the table. <laughs> Kobe's probably off the table. But if we go to Shaquille O'Neal, there we go. The Warriors think they're a contender. I'll give you a trade exception. Not Michael Jordan. No, 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 no. Uh, if we go to draft picks, we have a swap worst with the Clippers. Let's see if that gets it done. No, no, no. I don't, I don't think that making our own trade is going to happen. We'd have to go to Trade Finder, which is where we find out the real value of these guys. So Jabari Smith on the, the open market can get us an interesting bunch of players. <laughs> Nothing amazing. What about if we go to the Warriors and throw Shaq into the Trade Finder? Is there anybody on their team that we on our team that they want? No. There is not anybody on the on our team that they would want. So the only way that we could get Dwayne Wade is if we traded Michael Jordan. But we also be getting a first round pick back, but I'm not trading Mike for Dwayne. <laughs> uh, I love Dwayne, but I'm not trading him. Or I'm not trading for him with Mike. Can't get Kevin Garnett. Can't obviously get Kobe. Mello? No, no, no Mello options. Curry? No Curry options. Uh, LeBron? <laughs> not even LeBron for, for Jordan? Interesting. Kareem? No Kareems. Chris Paul? Man. They're running a tight ship over here. Oh, we could get Giannis for Mike. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be very easy. We can get Luka for Michael Jordan and Jalen Brown. Don't want to do that. <laughs> what about Dwight? We can get Dwight for Alonzo Mourning. Which is one of the guys that I thought about taking. I think I'm going to stick with, with uh, Alonzo for right now. What about uh, what about Bill Russell? No, no Bill Russell options. D-Book? No, nothing for D-Book? Okay, Booker's off the table, I guess. Jokic? No Jokic. Uh, Iverson? That'd be cool. 
And I, okay, this is gonna be it's gonna be tough. I like what the team is looking like though. In season one, John Wall, Jordan, Tatum, Scotty, and Alonzo Mourning as the starters. We could, like I said, switch Cousins to be the starting power forward because we do have another good center uh, backup in uh, Robert Williams. So that is uh, an option, very much an option. I just don't know if that's what we want to do. Do we really want Scotty started? I don't think I want Scotty started. I think I want, I want Boogie starting. So we're gonna give Boogie some more minutes. Cousins can do that. We'll take some minutes away from these guys. Give Michael Red the six-man opportunities because that's why we drafted him is to be the six-man sharpshooter off the bench. We'll push everybody down. Scotty can start. Scotty can still get some minutes, obviously, because he's really good. But I also want to give Robert Williams some minutes because I like Robert Williams and I like having him off the bench. So we'll pull some away from that. We'll do that. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're running 11, man. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. The 11 man is fine right now. And I like this team. Are we a playoff team? Probably because we have Mike. I think we're a playoff team. But we're going up against the Lakers in the first game of the series. And the Lakers have Hakeem, Isaiah Thomas, and Chris Mullen as their top three. All right. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. That'll be in the next episode, though. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. As I mentioned earlier, and I mentioned a few times in this video, all of the... The links are down below in the description for the main channel, the third channel, if you want to go check out either one of those. Feel free. Feel free to go check those out. Like I said, with the uh, the Hornets series last, uh, last season in 2K22, if you want to go check it out and see kind of how this series goes, kind of get a feel, because it's going to be follow a similar uh, path, like how we how we play the games, how we simulate the calendar. Like that, that's, it's going to follow that. So if you want to go figure out, like kind of get ahead of the game and, and how I, how I do that, then go back and watch the first couple episodes of that and kind of get a feel for it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I'm super excited for this series. I hope you guys are too. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the juice club. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.